you with the Go Tell My Brother and Speak Life ministry. Good morning, family. Let's go for this walk this morning. And I got a word. I was thinking on one thing, but God, I, as I kept looking down in the concrete, and I wish I could have seen one right now, I would try to show you. I guess if I remember, I'll take a picture and post it, hopefully with this video. But, oh, here's one right here. I don't know. Let's see if I can turn this around. No, I can't. You see that one flower? That one flower growing in the concrete. So that's what I came to talk about. Being that one flower. That one flower in the midst of turmoil. That one flower in the midst of the fear. In the Songs of Solomon, I really want to believe it's the second chapter, but I'm not sure. Go study and see it for yourself. That's where he introduced himself, the Lord, as the rose is sharing in the lily in the valley. You could be that one flower. That one flower. That one flower serves a purpose. That one flower has a purpose. It has an assignment. And it's one thing is for the speak life. So it's done a great work just by pushing through the concrete. Pushing through what looks impossible pushing through when nobody even sees it there. Sometimes we're that one flower for God that nobody sees. Nobody's paying attention to. And then he will put it on somebody's heart to look in the direction of that one flower. That one flower. That one flower. I don't know. That one flower. That one flower. It's not even a big flower. But it doesn't matter. It's a beautiful flower. So, God allows somebody's eyes to see it. And today it was mine to share with somebody else. It doesn't matter what you think about you. What did God design you for? What is your assignment? You could be that one flower. I grew up never feeling noticed, never feeling beautiful, just low self-esteem. No, nobody ever noticed me. I would be in the house and nobody would know that I'm there. But I had to push through the concrete. God pushed me through the concrete to be that one flower. Now that one flower is here, speaking into another one flower. No matter what you're going through, push past it. Push through it. You got a purpose. You could be that seed. I'm not gonna even stop the camera. You could be that seed. You could be that one hope for somebody. That one hope. They can't see their way right now, but you're showing them their future. That one flower. That one flower. I don't know how long it's there. I don't know when it comes up, but it served a purpose today to do a speak life for somebody. To tell you, don't look at today. Today is not always. The word said it shall come to pass. <laughs> so this stuff has to come to pass. It's a sequence of events to get you to push through that that crack in that concrete. There's a light in that crack. There's a light. There's a light. Don't claim it's your depression. No, there's a light through it. There's a light through poverty. There's a light through hopelessness. There's a light. There's a light in that failed business. There's a light in that hard marriage. There's a light with those wayward, wayward children. There's a light. See that light just sparked behind me? That's nothing but the glory of God. God is glorious. That one flower. He created you to be that one flower. That one flower. And the most you see with those one flower, at least for me, two or three. That's all we need. Two or three touching in the green. There's someone that needs these speak lives just as much as I do. There's someone that that sometimes they feel strong and then sometimes they get beaten down by the concrete somebody stepping on them somebody stepping over them not even noticing that they're there but god knows he set you as a for a time such as this that one flower he's our lily in the valley so if we're like him we're lily in the valley he's our rose of sharing so if we're like him we're that rose and sharing it don't seem like it serves a purpose but today it showed me beauty in the midst of concrete. It showed me that. My life is a light 
in the midst of all the stuff that I may have endured, he chose to bring me into the marvelous light so I can be that one light, that one little beam, that one little portion that's allotted to me to tell somebody else, you're that beautiful little flower that somebody's going to notice. And when they notice it, their purpose is going to be fulfilled because you gave them hope to be that one light, that one spark, that one flower. So I send the word of God to the people of God, to the ears of God, to the hearts of men. I don't know who I'm weeping for right now because it's strong in my spirit, but you have to speak life. I had to change my words. I had to change how I thought about myself. I had to change if nobody else don't see me. God put me there for a purpose. So you have to speak life. You have to change your tongue. You have to change your perspective first of God. Because if you don't see much in yourself, it's because you don't see that you're the image of God. And so you're saying God is on a level that he's not. No, he's almighty. He's lifted up high. And he gave us the opportunity to be with him. Lord, I thank you for being that one little flower. And I thank you for the one little flowers that you send to receive this. I send much peace, love, and blessings multiplied to you and your household. In Jesus' name, peace.